A lot of cartoons had an episode where two characters or more would switch places. Like, like they would like switch bodies or something, which isn't a bad idea in itself. But often they do this thing where they'd like switch the voice actor around. I always thought it was kind of weird. Because our voice is very much tied, you know, to our physicality. Yes, part of our mentalness will change how we project, but wouldn't change our voice entirely. Hey there, everyone, this is Rao Cow playing Super Dog and Time Brothers, and it's a video game, it's pretty great. Uh, we're in World 7, I think, which is fairly far off in the far flung future. It's a blue pipe here, it's pretty great. Last time we did a handful of levels that had many exits attributed to them. Now we're doing a house that has Manchanvania. That sounds wonder-tastic. <laughs> so, it's a house. Oh, whoops. Well, there was a door there. I thought a thing was odd because there was the blocks and looks like my thoughts were correct on. However, Really don't know what to expect out of anything here, other than apparently a switch of blue is employed somewhere. There are many, many boxes with many, many things to say, and also there's a pathway all the way there in the ceiling. Why do I need that? Oh, so I can go back in this door there once I press a blue switch, because there's blue outline blocks there. Got it! What does this door do? Nothing for me, I'm kind of afraid. What did this door do? Brings us back here, wonder of Juice Man's. And that's words. Aligned in an improper word, say anything. What? Oh, how? hi there, Spikes, how's it going? Oh no! That was close, but it brings me here again, so that didn't amount to much. Let's try doors, I guess, while I impale my face. Oh no, I'm going to die. Or not. So not that door. Not that door. That door leads here again. And this door doesn't do much. Okay, that's pretty mysterious. Any changes out right in the land beyond doesn't look like it. Okay then. <laughs> hmm. Uh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I think I might have noticed something. Normally, I wouldn't think much of it, but since this is a level by L, I'm going to go ahead and assume it might be on purpose. Nice tile transition there. Um, like, okay, yeah, first thing first, though, I want to check what happens if you go in this door. Oh, man, Funnyville. So... <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I want y'all to notice something here, is that, you know, see how this junctions? Uh, if we go over to this one over here, look how the top junction is in the same, again, had this been just about any other ghost house, I would assume that didn't mean anything, but since this is L, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that was actually on purpose. How delightfully evil! And now it leads us back into the Crumminjun land. And as as I mentioned, you know, now, yeah, that's blocked over there. But there is that up path over here, right, right here, that will lead us to go there. And there's the blue door passage there, and there's the other one. And the door are those the two exits? I don't know. So that leads us to go back into the Floridas of the crocodiles. It leads us to a dark and stormy night, where there's a weird little transition-y thing. Is there like a door here? Well, there's a feather on. Oh, okay, it's the shadow of the block. Oh, man. How delightfully delightful. What happens here? Coins, there are lands underneath the world, but they look like there was a ledge. Well, I was mistaken. So, about that piece switch. Well, let's try doors, because the door appeared here. I don't know if that's meaningful. I don't know if it's meaningful that anything here is happening. Don't know if... Oh, wait, 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 door here. That ends up being... Whoa, poison mushrooms! Those exist! Scary. There's a thing of... Oh, wow, that's a big prize. It'd be fairly easy to fly up there if it wasn't for, you know, my incendiary mushroom here. 
Which is kind of unfortunate. Well, maybe considering it's probably going to be a power-up, it would actually be entirely beneficial to get hit there. Although I think it's easier to fly with Mario because he accelerates faster. Hammer Brother, those are things. Except that wasn't... Advancement. Not yet, but don't sell the pudding until you say hello. There might be other things to uncover here. Aha, and from there I'd be able to go underneath there. You're reusing tricks, L, and this is lending me to notice things. <laughs> Okay, and they seem to basically last just about as long, so if I just... Yeah, oh wow, and it will? That's kind of mighty generous, but okay, I'm not complaining. So what I want to do is I go here so I can empty out the block a little bit and give me some room. So then I can go down here and start to run and go into this little what may or may not be a pipe. Now I'm in the house's septic tank. It's pretty gross. Am I supposed to kill everything with a hammer? I mean, it does give me a hammer, but I think it is just supposed to... I'm not going to go in this door right now. I'm going to assume that it might be another surprise or something somewhere. I'm trying to look around if there's anything that couldn't be some form of hint. Can I go back in the pipe? No. Okay, I'm getting a little bit paranoid. Okay. Oh, there's the exit. Well, alrighty then. If you say so, skeletons on a parade, that's a pretty nasty parade. The smell is very sulfurous. And now for Act 2. Okay, so yeah, this time instead, I'm going in this door, right? And I'm going on a path that has been uncorked here while wasting my power-ups. It's pretty great. You should all give it a try at some point. So this leads us... Is this the same room? Why would this be here? It is the same room has to have some meaning, though. Don't sell the turkey and... Dang it, that's not what I wanted to do. Then what's the point? What am I... Dang it, that's not what I wanted to do. Right, dumb... Let's see if there's any other doors anywhere. was that? Wow, a midpoint. That's crazy, Bill. Was that seriously? Like, I'd ask if that was seriously the solution, but I have no idea what I did. Wow, um... Surprise? 
<laughs> Jeez, well, okay, now I gotta do some fairly hardcore platforming -y. With about half an hour of tiredness under, under me, this is gonna go smashingly. Also, you can't really turn around while you're on a ladder or, you know, in your climbing animation. So that boo is pretty persistent. It is fairly pretty and persistent, both ideal characteristic for a mate. Whoa! Platform! So that's how you do a rope in Super Mario Brothers X. <laughs> and make it kind of un nasty on the top, and by un I of course mean very. And there's a moon that brings me to a million in the attic star, stuck in the spider web. Wow! I... I reiterate, I have no idea what happened. But considering it's L, I have no idea if anything I have done in this video was on purpose or not. This is Rao Cow, and welcome to a video game. <laughs>